Hello guys, I'm so sorry, I've been not able to get any videos out, I've got a ton of stuff coming out today, so I figured I'd do the rest of my list. Um, next up, number 14, The Black Daddy Murder went into the Ever Black. Um, I love Black Daddy, it's another really strong thing, they've never really released anything terrible, the sound's a little bit different, it has a few more black metal influences, and a couple more nice little horror stories, very good album. Uh, next up, uh, Watain and the Wild Hunt, they're very much uh, controversial new album that features things like Morgan guitars, uh, clean singing, but to me it's still a very good album, other than of course They Wrote On, which is now one of their masterpieces. It has some very good songs like Outlaw and Black Flames March, which are pure fucking black metal, Swedish black metal. Uh, very good album, very tight all around. I like the more stellar production too, very interesting. Next up, uh, the best, uh, easily the best Odd Future release of this year, Earl with Doris. Uh, amazing album, very atmospheric, though, especially with the sampling of the drums for the beats and everything. Uh, Earl's lyrics themselves, especially in like a song like Chum, are so deep and very intellectual that it really makes you contem uh, contemplate more than other than when he came out with his first release, which was very childish in nature. Uh, it's also got some great guest spots by uh, pro easily the best is on Sunday with Frank Ocean and also uh, 20 Burgundy Caps. Fantastic songs, easily the best thing on Futures released this year. Number 11. Uh, Dillinger Escape Plan with One of Us is the Killer. I love Dillinger and I love this album. It's very similar uh, to me in forms of Ironworks, but much more focused and concentrated and has that visceral edge that uh, Option Paralysis had. Uh, also some great experimentation like on the title track, which is a very like slow number. My Hip Hop Album of the Year and my number 10 spot, Danny Brown Old. I love Danny Brown and I love Triple X. And this new album has it totally lived up to my expectations. It's a little less comedic, it's definitely less comedical than his first album, but the more serious tracks have even better lyricalism. The flows are really great. The more the party songs are very upbeat and just get you fucking moving like on dip and drinking and smoking. Some really good guest spots too by um, Schoolie Boy Q and oh Absol. Very good. Next up Number nine, Gore Guts with Colored Sands. Uh, I've never liked Gore Guts. I still don't like the previous material. It's just my thing. But I love this album. I like how they introduced the more atmospheric sludge elements and gave also the tempo changes or what helped keep me invigorated with this album. The drums are insane on this. If you don't notice, the drummer from Origin who's taking duties on here, he's very creative, especially on the, uh, uh, what is it, uh, Reduced to Silence. Very uh, fast drumming, some excellent riffage that has both uh, technic like little niches of not only technicality but melodicism, especially in the first track, which I can't pronounce because it's French. Uh, some absolutely beastal, old school, just fucking death metal vocals. Fantastic record. Now my death metal record of the year has to go to Carcass for Surgical Steel. It is an absolutely awesome album. It's just it's Carcass the way you always wanted him to be after hard work. It's fast, it's heavy, it's catchy, it's got some nice melodic things, it's got some really great soul, and I personally love this album. It's a great return to form from easily one of the most classic death metal bands of all time. Next one, this was going to be Cataclysm, but I changed it out because I heard this one last minute. Caladan Brood, Echoes of Battle. I know they're a summoning worship band, I've never listened to something before, but I can kind of get the idea what they sound like from this. This band rocks. It's absolutely amazing. The atmosphere that they present in this unique brand of black metal, especially with the really like the synthish keyboards that sound like really early like 90s, like Burzum, is amazing. The riffing is, the production is pretty good too. The riffing uh, is not just the same riff played over and over. They have different, not only different variations, but different riffs in the songs. Very good vocals. The songs are drawn out just enough to where they peak at that epicness. And keep at it. It's like listening to a really good uh, Godspeed You Black Emperor song. Easily the best black metal release of this year. Fantastic album. Can't wait to hear more. Number six, Touche Amore with Is Survived By. Touche Amore has made one of my favorite albums of all time with Parting the Sea Between Brightness and Me, and now probably my favorite album by them. So that says a lot. It's longer, it's more expansive, it's just as frantic and uh, very emotional as Parting the Sea. 
Uh, there's a couple of really interesting kind of things they do with the more technical uh, leads on to write content and the more ballad-esque harbor. Um, some absolutely amazing lyrics like on Just Exists and on DNA and just an all-around fantastic poster core record. No wonder if Thursday mentioned them as leading the vlog. Number five, Queens of the Stone Age, like clockwork. I'm not going to say too much about this, but other than it is a fantastic return to form again. Excellent rock record. The guest spots are amazing. Great album. <laughs> Number four, Cavell or Talk with Mirror. Like I said, the uh, I think I've said this in my review, that their first album was one of my favorites of all time. This album is very good. Not as good as that, but still very good. It's very enjoyable listen. It's got a couple more classic rock riffage and some nice experimentation with acoustic guitar. Number three, I did not expect this at all to be in here, but Soil Work, The Living Up, the, there is so much fucking good content in this album. Not only is it a great double album, and return, but a return to form for Soil Work. I love the vocals, the, both the amazing cleans and the harshes. The drum work is flawless, especially on like the Spectrum of Eternity. And it's an absolutely amazing riffage, like on Let the First Ray Wave Arise. Number two, Protest the Hero, Volation. I did a whole review explaining my love, go check it out. Number one, oh, why didn't I bring it with me? But Death Happens Sunbather. It's an absolutely amazing, melodic, melancholic journey through the ideas of depression, isolation, and just being homeless too, especially in the first song. Uh, hearing the singer scream at the top of the songs at the end of Dreamhouse, I Want to Dream, is one of the most invigorating moments of music for me in 2013. It is an absolute masterpiece of post-hardcore. Uh, definitely, of course, black metal, but also like Showgaze and Screamo. It is a beautiful, beautiful fucking album. I recommend anybody who's interested in expanding their taste to check it out. That's it. Subscribe and comment. Keep it metal. Finally got this list done. Get ready for some more shit.